All right, all right. Welcome to Moan Hustlers show number three. So uh, we had a great, uh, we have a great uh, show today uh, coming. We have uh, Shua Vu, who is a MMA fighter. Uh, that's going to be on our show today. So let me go ahead and bring him in. All right, all right. So, sure, right? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Awesome. Hey, thanks for uh, joining the show. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me, Chai. Hey, no problem. Yeah, let me go ahead and take this. Hide this. We can get your name on there, all right? Shua Vu, all right? So, guys, uh, welcome. Let's go ahead and welcome Shua. We got 10. Wow, we already have 10. Uh, 10 people join this call here. So uh, those of you guys just joined, appreciate you guys joining this, you know, Facebook Live. Go ahead and ask me any questions you want to know about MMA. But tonight we're going to talk about money, right? How do you make money in MMA as a fighter, right? So usually what we would do is start out the show with, uh, with three things. I usually ask three things about the show. Uh, what's your own name? All right, what do you do for a living? That's number two. And number three is how do you make money doing what you do? So uh, so first question, Shua. <laughs> Shua, right? Is that how do you, how do you pronounce it? Shua, like like the sound in Hmong? Is that is that what it is or? Yeah, you you said it right. It's like uh Shua, you know, like when you're counting, you say count oh. and Hmong Shua. Oh, okay, okay. So I you know. My moan is a little bad. <laughs> oh, my too. Yeah. Cool, man. So, uh, moan boo, right? So, yeah, tell us a little about yourself, you know, how old you are and stuff like that. Um, so, I'm, my name is Shobu. I'm 32 years old. I have uh, three kids. I'm married. Uh, I live in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Um, I do martial arts. I teach martial arts. I share martial arts to the world on my YouTube channel. So that's what I do on the side, and that's what I do. Um, teach martial arts um, full time. Um, I teach privately. Also, I make money um, competing and also teaching. So that's what right. let's hold out on that money part first. Oh, okay. <laughs> so cool. So you're like an uh, instructor, right? Is there like uh, you know? uh like right instructor right i guess you would call it or a sifu or what do you, or um, you, you can um uh, I, I wouldn't say sifu yet you know yeah yeah oh uh, yeah i guess they have different names for um uh different um like you know chinese people they they say sifu and then yeah. uh, japanese they say sensei uh, uh -huh. so um I, it depends you know like i guess what race you are but um you know, you could say Sifu master uh, instructor. I would just say, as me right now, I probably just say coach. Coach, right? Okay, coach, right? Okay, cool. All right, all right. Uh, how many years did you say it was that you you done this already? Oh, I, I started back in two thousand five. Yeah. So, okay. And then, um, ever since I fell in love with it, I just could never stop doing it. And it's been, I would have to say, like 13, 14 years. Maybe 15. Okay. Yeah, so it's been a while. Cool, cool. And is there a particular, uh, like, style you study or stuff like that? Yeah, the, um, the main style that I, I use when I do compete is um, Ed Wong JKD. You know, it's, uh, it's Jeet Kune Do, but then it's actually taught by Ted Wong. So gotcha. um, you know, this is a different instructor. It's not taught by um, Dan Inosanto or... Um, or Larry Harcel or uh, Richard Bastillo. It's it's Todd yeah. Wong, you know. So very strictly, I just want to make that clear. You know, my instructor is under Ted Wong. Gotcha. So, so I see I see a poster of what Bruce Lee and Ali on the back, right? Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah. I got um, yeah. So I got the um, Bruce Lee poster that I bought, and then um, I found the uh, Ali at Goodwill. Yeah, so that was like a treasure in the making. I mean, I couldn't believe I found that. Right when I saw it, I put it in the car. I'm like, this is mine. 
I was happy with that day. You know, it was funny because like uh, when I when I first saw your background there, I'm like, hey man, you and I are kind of like alike because I like Bruce Lee and Ali. I kind of like him too because whenever you you know I don't know you play video games, but I play Fight Night a lot, and I play with my brothers, and I always pick Ali. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ali was actually a huge in- inspiration to Bruce. Yeah, okay, so you would watch Ali's footwork. And yeah. he would um, apply that to his martial arts. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Ali was a huge inspiration. Gotcha. Yeah, I heard something about that, too. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome, man. That, that's mm-hmm. that's cool. Um, so, so I did see, when I was looking through your stuff, you're, you're on a team called Ronan JKD, right? And, and I think I know what JKD part is. Can you explain it, what the Ronan or is it? Just explain a little bit about your team there. So the um, so my original team down in Arkansas was Team Ronin, and uh, the reason why we called the Team Ronin was because you know, there was like a, it was just like a warrior's name. You know, it was like a, um, a samurai that didn't have like a shogun. That's what it was, and so um, I picked out the name for the. Um, um, are we talking about the the Ronin page now? Yeah, yeah. Is that yeah? That's what I saw. Like Ronin. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, my reading. That's, um, that's my team down south. So that's um, Ronan JKD was um, my team that um, pretty much was in uh, Arkansas when um, it was growing, and um, ever since then, you know, I just kept the name because I loved it. I just it was like a Ronan. It was like a a, a warriorless um, samurai. Correct. Yeah, uh, Samurai. That's what I thought. Like, isn't it like a based on a movie or something like that? Ronin, like, something like that? Seven, um, I think it was a Seven Ronin. I think. I, I don't I Yeah, something like that, right. Yeah. And then the JKD part, is is that the Jeet Kune Do part of, the, of Bruce Lee? Yeah, yeah. So I added that part in there, too. Gotcha. Okay, so you're a big fan of pretty much Bruce Lee, and you started all this stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. Right? You know, I, I, I'm a huge fan. I mean, I wasn't, I kind of fell apart from um, the uh, JKD and Bruce Lee for a while because I started doing MMA when I was in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. But when I moved down to Arkansas, um, I saw the other picture of um, JKD. You know, I saw uh, my, my Sifu, he kind of explained to me the, um, the years, like there was um, certain years that Bruce Lee changed up JKD. So he yeah. after he moves it up, you know, Ted Wong was the one that always came to the backyard and trained with him. But Ted Wong was the one that uh, only had the he was I guess he wasn't the only one. The other the other ones passed away. But um Ted Wong was the last one that was still teaching his um his art that he perpetuated before he passed away. And so um after I saw that, I was just hooked. I was just like, wow, this is completely different. I can use this and apply it to my my mixed martial arts and that's what i did so that's what i used for my stand-up and it's worked ever since you know <laughs> uh, to, uh, i tune a lot of different things you know, uh-huh. because they they keep their hand a little bit low but then you know as me as an mma fighter or as a, as a fighter i have to keep my hands a little bit higher because when you're fighting guys they're they're gonna be fast so you got to keep your hands up still too you know gotcha so are are you more of a? I mean, I'm kind of dabbling into your your your, your fighting fans. Are you too much? Yeah. You more of a stand up guy, or are you a, are you a ground fighter? Oh, uh, I I love both. Okay, don't get me wrong. I I love jujitsu. I love grappling. I love wrestling, and I love stand up. But the only reason why I had to put MMA on the side was because I have a family, and I can't dedicate at least four or five hours to the gym anymore i could at least dedicate one or two hours at the gym and if i can then i just put in my, my stand up now that's why so gotcha. that's why you know i have to i had to cut my time short other than that you know i was big to mma i was still grapple i was still trained in grappling and, and jujitsu but that's the only reason why but i still love jujitsu and everything gotcha Gotcha. So, huh? Uh, let me let me ask you. Do you like Chuck Norris? <laughs> yeah. 
I love Chuck Norris too. Not as much as um, I love Bruce Lee, but you know, like I'm I'm a huge fan of Chuck Norris also. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, you know, I don't know if you know, you see my post, but I post a lot of Chuck Norris yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, the fans gotta know if you're a Chuck Norris lover, you know. So. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Everyone so. that I'm a Chuck Norris lover. <laughs> <laughs> So we, we got a few, you know, people on here. I think uh, Ya, Abe, you know, Omega, Shong. Thanks, you guys, for joining. Uh, what's up, Shor? Woo, here, let me show it to you guys here. Which roundhouse you're predicting that you are going to drop your opponent? Also <laughs> straight, right? <laughs> so they're asking you. I don't know if you want to answer this. Do you want to answer this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, you know what? The, this is a title fight, you know, I... When you walk into a fight, you can't always predict or assume that this is going to happen. But, you know, you go in there doing the best you can. And you go in there hoping you win, hoping you you take the win at home. And you never know, you know. Sometimes you get caught with the funniest things and then it drops you. <laughs> so I can't say I'm going to go in there and I'm going to knock him out in round one. So it's a fight. I mean, I, I wish I could say something. And... And do it, but then this this guy's gonna be tough, you know, because um he's fought in the past. I've seen him. He's a pro MMA fighter too. So and and it's for the title. And usually when title shots are, they're they're not gonna give up that easily. So right, right. Yeah. And you know, I I've seen your your roundhouses, and I see your straight, oh. you know, your straight, you know, punches. You know, they're pretty mm -hmm. solid too. So yeah, we'll we'll see how how you uh how you uh figure out his strategy on on, on this night oh. so, uh uh thanks uh sandra for a thumbs up and then and then we got chang yang for thumbs up uh all you other folks hello josh josh says hello you know so you know those of you guys just joined we're doing a little interview with uh shua uh Wu. he's gonna fight what is it i think uh this week and you said right uh, it's going to be this weekend in uh, Savage, Minnesota. And um, if you're in the area, uh, I got some tickets. You guys can come watch me fight. Um, it's, at, it's for the 145-pound belt. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Let, let, let me just let me just get this out of the way. Go ahead and talk about your fight. So oh, I, I think you said it was a title fight. Come. Yeah, it's okay. going to be a title fight. Um, it's going to be in the cage, but it's going to be kickboxing. Okay. And, and it's going to be a um, 145-pound amateur kickboxing title. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if any of you guys want to come watch me fight, I have some tickets, and you guys can uh, definitely join us over there. There's a few people that are going already. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know how big the Monk crowd is, but there's some there's other people that have bought tickets too. Um, so you know, thank you for the support. Thank you guys for helping out and uh, buying tickets to come support me in the fight. I I don't get paid for this fight. If I win, I get the title. Yeah. But I do, I do make a little bit off the tickets, you know. So that's why that's why I'm trying to sell the tickets also. And um, you know, okay, we we'll talk a little bit about that in a bit. So so how do they get the tickets? Do they get a hold of you, or is there a website? Yeah, you guys um, you guys can get it through me, or you guys can go through the website. So it, it's totally up to you. Okay, so. So we'll get we'll make it easier. We'll get the website and then uh, we'll post it in the comments. We're not in the comments, or I'll, I'll edit it and put it in the link. So if you guys want to join, watch him fight. Uh, do you, how much are they? Uh, so general is going to be thirty five. You you'll be standing only. You'll mm -hmm. be you won't have any seats. Uh, and then a VIP will be sitting. You you have seats. Okay. And we are uh, fifty. And then the um. The green side is um, you you have a table that you'll be sitting at, and yeah. a circle that brings you beer if you need if you want any beer or food, and um, those are seventy five. Oh, uh, yeah. so you get food, beer, and ringside. Yeah, but you don't um, you have to pay for the food and the beer. You just have oh, okay. To you get the <laughs> and the food and the beer. All right, all right, okay, all right. Is there how many fights are? Is is it going to be for that? Particular I night, think, I believe there might be um, twelve or thirteen or fourteen. Okay, and 
Is, is there a lineup already? Are you are you like toward the end or toward? Honestly, if it's a title shot, it's usually toward the end. Okay, toward the end, right? Okay, it's cool. Awesome. All right. Okay, cool. So, uh, like I said, he, you know, come guys, come out, support this guy. He, uh, uh, he's gonna. We're gonna get the link down. Uh, if you want, uh, I'll tag him on to the video uh, of this, and then you can get a hold of him. Uh, let's make you this a big crowd. Give him a little support, a little courage, right? Yeah. Some more, more, uh, more crowd. Give him a little bit more courage. You know. Uh, what's that? More nervous too. <laughs> Nah, man, I'm here to finish it. So yeah, let's do that. Let's give this guy some uh, support. You know, yeah. if you're not doing anything that uh, weekend, it's Saturday, right? Saturday. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know how far. How far is that? What, is, what was that city then? That it's Savage, yeah. Savage, Minnesota. So. Evans, like, you said? Savage. Yep. Savage. Uh -huh. Savage, Minnesota. Is that far? Is that from uh, St. Paul? Uh, I think it's like 45 minutes. Maybe. Okay. No, I'm guessing. Okay. I don't. All right, I'm just look that up. Just a little, uh, just just to see, you know, you guys want to watch a little little fight, you know, support yeah. our Hmong people out here. You know, this guy's a rising star right now. So, all right, so let's get on with uh, our last question, which you know, which is what the show is about. Is you know, we talk a lot about you know, making money, you know, Hmong hustlers, because this is what we do, and how to make money. And, uh, you know, as a, as an MMA, you know, I just kind of like, a, I know you probably have, you know, um, we talk, oh, sorry, do we skip number two? We talk about your living, I guess you're li for, for a living, you do it as a coach, right? Just yeah. teaching people stuff like that yeah. as a coach. And do you have a lot of clients? clients? Um, yes and no, you know, so it's, it's a hit and miss sometimes, you know, you uh -huh. never, you never know. But um, so far, there's, um, there's more family members that really do help and support. You know, but then other than that, you know, like, you know, always open for more clients. You know, more people, if you guys want to learn martial arts, I'm, I'm always open. Yeah, more so are you more toward self-defense or are you more toward, uh, you know, just, you know, how to fight MMA or something like that? Um, pretty much both. So it depends what you want. Because uh, um, self defense is part of fighting, also. So, right. Uh, yeah, it, it depends what you want to learn, and I can share. I can definitely share both. So. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, that's what you do for a living. Pretty much, your coach. You you teach. You know, is there is there an age range that you do, or just pretty, just any age range? As long as um, they can, they can kind of um, take instructions. You know. Instead of yeah. like, you know, like if they're um, still little kids and they can't really, really like stand still when I tell them to stand still, then that might be a problem. But, you know, as long as they can um, take instruction, then yeah. <laughs> they can work. do push ups. Everybody know what push up looks like. Yeah, they can do push ups, then yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Cool. I also, right. I, sorry, Chad, but, you know, I also teach over at camps and gym. And, um, you know, that's where, um, I basically go there to teach for um, that gym on Fridays and Saturdays. So if anybody wants to come by, um, Fridays I teach at 5.30 till 6.30. And then uh, Saturdays I teach at 9 till 10 or 11. So depending who shows or not. But, you know, I'm over there at Champs in Little Canada in um, St. Paul, Minnesota. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, you can get a hold of him and, you know, uh... I guess that probably be more better, you know, just get a hold of you, you know, we'll, 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 like I said, we'll post the stuff on there. They want to get a hold of you. They want to learn more, you know, you can give them directions uh, personally, you know, from there. Cool. Cool. So we'll, we'll get on to how does a MMA guy or a fighter like you make money? You know, I mean, I'm sure this is kind of like a side gig, right? Yeah. Right. So the, um, I guess fighting is pretty much the biggest the, the side gig you yeah. know it's, um, but then um everyone's looking to make it into the bigger organizations and really really get big out there so you know it's it's all has to do with a lot of fans you know all has to do with who you are how many people follow you how many people want to come in and watch you fight and so 
Um, that's where the money comes in. You know, it's it's usually the fan base that you have, the um, the crowd that you bring. Yeah. For the yeah. So, yeah, that is, is basically on the fight. Cool. So it's about the crowd and how much how much craziness you can bring to the fight too. You know, like. Yeah, I mean, you, you go in there and you do crazy things like Anthony Pettis where you jump off the cage and hit someone in the face. Yeah, yeah people don't want to see that again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I've seen some of your. Uh, I see some of your. Uh, your. Uh, I guess was it not roundhouse like spin kicks? I guess. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm like, damn, this guy's throwing spin kicks on a MMA fight. You know, because somebody asked uh, earlier, is can we see some of your fights? You know. uh you can get us that, right? I think you yeah. you did one. I saw one. Uh, I saw that a while back. I think the one I was posting. Do you yeah, have other YouTube, fights too, or uh, my YouTube channel? You can go on there. It's a uh, my YouTube channel is Ronin's JKD. Okay. And you'll you'll be able to see my fight. I posted it up on there, and um, you know, I kind of walk through the fight, and you'll see me do the, the roundhouse into a spin back kick. Yeah. You know? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that. I mean, you did a few times. I'm like, wow, this guy's throwing some, you know, what do you call it? Spin kicks? Oh, uh, dude, spinning heel kicks, you know. Spinning heel kick. Yeah. I mean, you land those, man. Oh. Oh, it was more for like a player, you know, like um, I miss him with the roundhouse. So yeah. I had to throw something so that he just doesn't jump on me. So I had to I had to throw the kick, you know. Okay. Just to yeah. come in. So cool. that's why I Cool, cool, man. You gotta have the courage to throw some of those, you know. <laughs> so yeah so those of you guys who's joined uh appreciate you guys you know that's joined i saw a few a lot of you guys join here wow appreciate it uh let's see ronnie hey ronnie how's it going thanks for joining Hi. matthew just joined uh josh says hello oh. um, so yeah anybody uh, who's on there has any questions about mma or you know how to make money uh this is the show we'll be here for a few more minutes here um so so one way is to make money by selling the tickets so you have to draw some sort of crowd can i ask you how much percentage you make yeah out of that? So you get um i believe it's uh 20 percent from the team wow 20 percent holy cow that's a lot so yeah. so it's, uh, it's not it's not too bad you know? yeah i mean for you to make 20 percent of you know something's pretty good that's yeah. what i guess it's more than the stock market uh, <laughs> that makes a year. Uh, <laughs> the stock market only makes like 13 percent a year you know it's like man for you to make you know it's just all about how much people you can draw in so that's cool you know so uh yeah i mean how, is there uh, do you know how, what the limit is for that stadium um, I'm not sure actually. I don't. I don't even know if it's a stadium, honestly. Oh, okay. But, yeah, it's at a bar. Okay. Bar, so um, yeah. I don't know if there's going to be a stadium, but I do believe it's going to be. Um, it's, it's a place. Um, I think behind the bar. Yeah. Um, I've never been there, so I haven't seen it yet. Gotcha. Well, if it's a bar and it's doing like a, it, it, you say it's a cage, right? Yeah. So that's, that's probably. It's probably like another, it's more like 500 people or something like that. Um, they, they have to help before, so, you know, yeah. Cool. What, cool. Uh, let me put your name back on here. Uh, Ka Kong says, what weight class do you fight in? Well, as, as of right now, for the title shot, I'm fighting at 145. 145, guys. So, 145. Man, I think that was me back in high school. Oh. I'm like 220 right now. <laughs> well, well, um, and uh, I think this is um, this is the biggest weight cut I've ever had to do. Cause, um, okay. Yeah, they gave me a month notice, and so I had to I had to drop 32 pounds in a month, uh, and it was crazy. As, as with the training that I could get in, I had. Wow. A, I saw you eat chicken. I was looking at your post, and I saw you eating like like a. Chicken breast, but it wasn't. It was like a quarter of a chicken breast or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was. I could not eat too much. I'm still um two pounds over as of right now. Weigh in is on Friday, so. Oh man. Yeah, so I, gotta, I might have to hit 
Madonna. I mean, two pops not too bad. I got yeah. Thursday, which is tomorrow, and then I have on Friday, which I might have to hit the sauna, and then okay, I'm just late. You know, no matter what, I have to make late. So. Yeah, yeah. The sauna, my sauna, or I don't know. It's kind of it's not a you're, you guys. It's kind of cool in Minnesota right now, so you know, it's it's kind of hard for you to break a sweat going outside and oh, running. No. Right, so. Yeah, that's why I have to run aside in the house and um, turn on the heat. <laughs> <laughs> do some yard work. I guess you get, there's, there's nothing to do. <laughs> you can't oh, yeah. break a sweat outside. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Mike's call. Okay, so uh, Sean says, uh, it's great seeing you. Uh, your mic cuts off, cuts off a little, sometimes in the middle of talking. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry. sorry, guys. Just just move in a little bit closer and see if that works, uh, Shua. I try to keep it steady because if I move my head, then the mic might um trying to do that you know if you like turn this way and, like, <laughs> sorry you know. guys yeah a little technical but uh hopefully you guys can hear it if you can hear it. i can kind of hear it too so i'll repeat some of the stuff that i can hear because i have an earpiece on so i can kind of hear it clearly so i'll repeat some of the stuff if if i hear that it, it, it does not come, coming through uh he's saying uh joe says what have you focused on during the camp for this fight? I don't know if you uh, see that. But... Yeah, I, I see it. Okay, cool. Yeah, the main thing I've been focusing on is stand up. And um, I've been focusing more on trying to lose weight more than anything. But uh, <laughs> like my skill and technique, you know, I'm very confident in my stand up. But um, there's a lot of things that I can, I can really refine too. Like my. I noticed that I do drop my front hand a lot. And so I have focused on that. Um, it's a lot more on uh, now also because when we, we come to a, um, a area where our opponent is right in front of us, you know, a lot of guys, they think it's bent on and close range combat, you know, so you're going to be uh, throwing more hooks and you're going to be throwing more, more knees. Or, you know, like we can't elbow in the kickboxing, so we can't throw elbows. So that's why, you know, I've been focusing more on hooks and a lot of knees. That's oh, man. My game. That's his game, Joe. Don't go telling the, the uh, his opponent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Ed, Edwin, I guess, let's see here. So you lost some weight since I saw you last time. Yeah. Uh, I, I was a good time. Thanks, Evan. I missed <laughs> you at, the, at, at um, Toyota. I came oh, yeah. to drop off some tickets for you. I've been looking there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, your mic keeps cutting off, so I'll we'll skip that. And then Mike goes, Bruce Lee's abs. So I guess he's trying to hit. Maybe you need abs. Right, oh, no, he's talking about I think, uh, poster in the back. <laughs> Mike, oh. you checking out Bruce in the back, Mike? <laughs> yeah, that, that's my dream right there, man. You know, oh, man. Me. I think it's everybody's dream. Oh. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, so, you know, moving on, how else can you make money as a MMA fighter, right? Tickets? Yep. What else? And, you know, most of, the, most of the money that you normally get, you know, when you get into the bigger leagues, yeah, it, it's through sponsorship. Because... You're, you get paid during a fight, and sometimes fight are like you you fight like every six months or then every three months, so you don't get a paycheck until then. So you you rely on sponsorships and you rely on donations and support. So that's that's pretty much the other thing that um a lot of fighters really do focus on is trying to get out there, do something for the community so that they can be spotted and also get sponsored and get donated donations or um, get get some some kind of support to help them cool cool so donations and support and sponsors and stuff like that that's cool so so uh so how does somebody do that you know do they just say hey let me give you ten dollars or something like that or do they you know Give you a go fund. I, I know uh, earlier we we post your go fund uh, your, your go fund link on the bottom, but 
normally how do, how does that work is it is that uh, the the sponsorships usually in, you you have to have a proposal you have to have something that you will help them while they're willing to help you also in return and for uh, me as a fighter um i usually go in and i i usually wear depending um what what kind of sponsors i get you know uh, the shirt that I normally wear, I would have their logo or their brand on the shirt. And also if like they, they have like a, um, like if they have, if they sponsored me and they helped me out, then I would wear uh, their, whatever they, they, they provide, which is like uh, gloves or which is uh, like a shin pad, or not shin pad no, ankle bracelet, you know, uh -huh. the ankle, ankle brace, you know, are, like a uh, headband or their hat you know whatever it is that has their brand on there when we go into the stage or when we go into fight so that they kind of people kind of see and notice it and kind of wonder what it is and you know eventually people start googling it up and they, they're like oh, oh well that's what it is you know so that's how we, we kind of help promote their brand or promote them to get out there too gotcha yeah. so like like, have you had any sponsors so far, or? Uh, I, I've had a lot of support and uh, very few sponsors. Yeah, yeah no, but um, there's, there's been people that are um, potential sponsors. Yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah. So for for sure in the future, but as of right now, you know, more support than anything. So I get gotcha. a lot of. So you're looking for sponsors, pretty much, right? Yeah, pretty much. You no. Know, awesome. Anybody yeah, so to... yeah, man. There's no, there's, there's no harm in asking for sponsorship, right? Because I'm sure like people want to sponsor and say, hey, you know, we have this winning fighter here. You know, I, I already seen some of your fights. It looks amazing. You know, the way you fight. You yeah. know, you say, yeah, no problem, because you are, and and just to say, hey, you know, I'm looking for sponsors. You know, and you willing to call them out. You know, say, hey, you know, these are the sponsors that supported me through my career uh stuff like that uh like can it be any type of sponsors like i don't know like a, like a store or like oh man like i don't know like a store can, website uh a uh a real estate agency uh i don't know what yeah. what it, what it is can it be, um pretty much anybody who um who cares for the sport um mm -hmm. who um likes the sport you know, it, it, it can be pretty much anything. It could be um, people who sell homes, or it can be um, like a business. Uh, it could be restaurants, you know. As long as they, they like the sport and they, they are willing to sponsor you because they like seeing you fight and they, they also want to help you while you help them get their brand out or their, uh, their business out. So it doesn't matter. It can be anybody. Gotcha. You no, know, I was just thinking. Yeah, it's it's a good thing because you know it's good to. I mean, since you're you're kind of new, you're you're up, you're up and rising, you know, fighter. It's, it's a good thing that you know sponsors support you now because you're gonna remember them first, right? Because they they're little guys that <laughs> Mike goes how Bud Light. <laughs> he wants Bud Light to to sponsor you. <laughs> Maybe when I make it to like um, Wari or um, you know Kung Long, maybe we'll make it to up there or Lion Fight. You know, maybe maybe they'll go into sponsor. But as of right now, you know, I'm a, I'm a local fighter and trying to work my way up there. So yeah, uh, I can't even pronounce his name, but uh, I'll post it here so you can see. He says, "What's up?" Doing a shout out to you, Uncle. Oh. How's it going? <laughs> How can't you say his name? You know the name? I can't say it either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then, uh, and then the next one's going to be, uh, I think, I'm not sure if we posted Edwin, Edwin on there. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, we're about in on this. But do you guys, uh, if you have any questions, quickly type in there so we can answer it, do you know, or so. But uh, right now we're we're talking to Schwa. Uh, he's going to be fighting this weekend, and we'll post the stuff below. Um, 
Let me put your name back up there. He's going to be fighting this weekend. Uh, he's looking for sponsorship, right? Okay, so Shua, you know, when, you, when we talk about sponsorship, uh, so you know, I guess people get a hold of you. You guys make some sort of contract, right? Stuff like that. And then, yeah. like, you'll wear their stuff, like their jacket with their name or something on there, you know, oh. stuff like that. Yeah. What if, what if, you know, you know, I know you you asked for like a go fun thing. You know, what if what if I give you ten bucks and you just give me a shout out? Is that is that good enough? Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's, um, Does that work too? That works. That definitely works. Yeah. That would be awesome, guys. I mean, I'm just thinking like, hey, he goes out, they raise his hands, and they do like a post interview, and he goes up there. You know, thank you guys. You know, you know, train hard. You know, I want to give a shout out to Chai. <laughs> <laughs> dude that would be awesome so hey so guys you know hook this guy up you know for a dollar or something a dollar ten dollars a hundred dollars you know I, I i'm i'm i bet if you get more money he's gonna he's gonna give you a bigger shout out so <laughs> you know right well, for sure you know, gotta but, it, but for sure i'm gonna i'm definitely I'm hoping somebody i'm hoping people do that guys so yeah. this would be awesome you know to capture when he wins and you know he goes up on stage or whatever it is and he gave him a post in you and he goes i want to give you guys a shout out to you know whatever your name is or your business or you know whatever you know even if it's your sponsorship you wearing their shirt and stuff that would be awesome too you know or you know but um i'm sorry i, I cut in front of you did you did you have something to say oh no I, I was just gonna say, you know, sometimes like we have a hard time remembering after a fight. So if um we don't quite remember who to shout out to, then don't we'll worry, you can do it afterwards, yeah. man. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, maybe not during the cage fight or yeah, um, that's or fine. Cage. But fight. you know, afterwards it's fine too, right? So uh, you know, you holding that belt, whatever that title belt that you can win one forty five, you can say, hey. You know, these are the guys that supported me. Hey, I want that. That's cool, man. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna put ten dollars in. I don't know if you guys are gonna put anything. I want my shout out. So I want if you guys can triple that or or so. Hey, you know, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna drop ten dollars in. Hopefully, I get my shout out. If you guys don't, hey, sorry, so sorry for you guys. <laughs> You're definitely gonna shout out, Ty. You'll be the first one, and you definitely get one. <laughs> don't worry, just whoever pays the most, man. That's all it counts, <laughs> right? So, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, oh, as we're wrapping up here, uh, Jim. Jim says, uh, "Good luck." Um, I think so. I'll see you there too. All right. Uh, anything else to add, bro? Anything else to add? Oh, oh, you're asking me. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anything else to add? Oh uh, no, actually, I, I just actually wanna a little bit of shout out right now for um, okay the camp that i've been training at yep. so you know i want to i want to thank um champs gym mm -hmm. uh, police team with warm warm man muay thai uh josh and all the boys over there um uh, i want to thank title boxing and um which mark everyone over there um at rising sun and uh Wasa, wisconsin a lot of house team and also the uh, queen's martial arts sean shruby thank you guys you know, big shout out and um also my team Ronan down south, you know. Thank you guys for supporting and uh, following me through all these these times. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Is that yeah. all? And um, also I, I wanna thank um I wanna thank my family. You know, my family, my brother and also um Camille for helping me out. Um and uh, my wife. She's pretty much the biggest the biggest help of all. So, you know, I, especially want to thank her oh that yeah <laughs> awesome make sure she sees this <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll watch right now. <laughs> cool cool man hey man so uh hey good luck to you you know right. uh i'll be putting my ten dollars after this so guys uh you know if you want your shout out make sure you donate to uh we'll post this gofund link below so you can hopefully get your shout out but uh he's looking for sponsorship too so mm -hmm get with him and uh hopefully he'll brand you guys uh, and give you some uh some exposure for your business so hey shua appreciate you 
uh, joining our show. And uh, good luck to you, bro. Hey, thank you, Sean, for having me, man. And I appreciate it. Right. No problem, bro. All right. All right thank, thank you, me. guys. All right. Have a good night, everyone. All right, guys. So thank you guys for joining Mo Hustlers. Have a good night. Bye.